IT Expo Miami 2009. Good morning, this is Eric Lanas coming to you from the exhibit hall floor at IT Expo a few hours before the show floor doors open today. I'm sitting here with Dan York, Director of Emerging Communications Technologies at Voxeo. Good morning, Dan. Good morning, Eric. Good to be here. Nice to, good day outside, looking to be good. Um, and, and, and we can actually hear one another without the <laughs> buzz of the crowd right, behind us. Right, the crowd here was pretty crazy yesterday. Yeah, it was nice to see. It's very yeah. exciting. Yeah, good um, to see it. But, uh, you know, since we last spoke, what, about uh, uh, six months or so? Yeah, last ago? show. Um, yeah, that's right, out in L.A. Um, you know, I guess uh, there's been some exciting things going on at Voxeo. Um, Tell me a little bit about them. Sure, it's been a great time for us. Uh, this last uh, six months, we announced uh, two acquisitions that we've uh, come out with. Uh, we're, business is going real well for us. We've had over, at this point in our 10-year history, we've had over 33,000 developers do about uh, 73,000 voice apps on our hosted platform. We've had over 32,000 downloads of our premise product for developing voice applications. And uh, we continue to see tremendous growth in that. Our, uh, you know, as a company, we're closing 20 quarters of consecutive growth and profit. Um, and uh, most exciting though from that, we see our customers growing. You know, in this economy, we've watched our customers continue to grow and develop and we've seen what, uh, the, what our platform could do for them to help really drive the, the return on investment in their investment and to be able to go and create better voice apps, create better self-service apps, create, you know, automate things that they're doing, be able to take that money that they would use on those voice apps and use it in other ways, you know, employing more people, whatever else, building the business, doing all that. So it's great to see customers being able to grow, to be able to thrive, and uh, to be able to work with that. So it's, it's a good time. Well, like you say, certainly in this, this uh, environment, it's great to see that. Yeah. Um, but you mentioned two acquisitions. Uh, can you get into those a little? Sure. So let's maybe start with the more recent one, a company called Voice Objects in, in Germany. But maybe to frame it, let me step back a little bit and talk about what Voxeo has always been about and what we're doing. So we were founded in 1999, so 10 years ago, with really the mission to go and help people create voice applications very simply and very easily. Because if you think about where voice applications were at the time, it was all proprietary APIs, it was big, cumbersome libraries, it was, it was a mess. Developing telephone applications was cumbersome, it was complicated, it was all of that. So we started with the basic mission of how do we make people, how do we enable developers to create voice applications, communication applications, very simply and easily. And at the time, this was 99, I mean, you know, the big buzz was with web developers, whereas XML. So we created what is still the world's uh, easiest telephony markup, something called Call XML, which allows you in a few lines of XML to go and create very simple and very easy to use um, X, uh, voice applications. So with Call XML, people can create you know, very simple apps or also incredibly large. You know, we have a customer who's doing thousands of simultaneous calls you know, using a, um, a Call XML application. Uh, we went on from there to supporting Voice XML, CC XML, Call Control XML to allow people to do standards compliant applications that are not locked into a platform. And today we have really the industry's leading standards compliant voice application platform. And uh, so all of that, all again about focusing on letting developers easily and simply create voice applications. Now, uh, with that, we then created an application called Designer, which allows people to have a, like a Microsoft Visio app environment to go and create apps. Well, now with voice objects, what we've done is we've brought in a tool that, again, allows developers to create graphically very easily um, more complicated applications, very complex apps, um, using the Eclipse IDE, which developers may be familiar with, which is, allows them to go and, and write their, their apps in a familiar development environment, be able to work with it, do all that. But what's exciting about voice objects is you can create that app, easily iterate it, easily work with it. It's also multi-channel, so you can have one app that is being used through the phone. Somebody calls in, say, say it's a banking app. You can call into the phone, you know, get your account number, you can use voice recognition, whatever else to go and, and speak it. You can, so you can go in by the phone. You can also go in by a web browser, conceivably on your PC or on your mobile phone. You can be able to use uh, two-way SMS. You could use video, you could use any of those. It's all interacting with the same application. So you build it once in, using voice objects. You can create it, you can work with it, you can develop it, and, and then you can have it be accessed through all those different channels. We do a lot with self-service apps, like I said, a bank, you know, calling and doing that. A lot of mobile vendors in, uh, in Europe are using us for all sorts of applications. And so it provides them with a multi-channel environment to go and work with. So that's kind of our biggest announcement, giving people that range. It works not only with our traditional uh, execution environment, our prophecy platform, um, but it also works with a wide range of other media platforms. So that's the, the, big, the big announcement in December. 
and certainly, you know, the multi-channel uh, part of that is certainly very exciting, very uh, uh, applicable in today's environment. But you mentioned two. Can you really quickly uh, go into the uh, sure. second acquisition? So the other acquisition was uh, last summer we acquired a company called Micromethod in, um, in Beijing, China. And what they do is they provide something called SIP servlets, uh, which is a, a layer of, again, this is for a different set of developers, those who are working with, say, uh, HTTP servlets. They're working with Java on a server, and they're used to doing web apps. Now they can move over into doing SIP-based communication apps, very simply and easily, same kind of concept. It's at micromethod.com. There's a developer uh, version people can download and try it out. People are, are using that. You can go and build your own soft phone. There's people build session border controllers, all sorts of stuff. So again, making it easy for, for developers to go and build communications apps. Wow, that's a lot of exciting stuff, uh, certainly uh, in, in six, six short months. Um, I look forward to uh, catching up again, uh, maybe in L.A. even, uh, to, uh, to hear the absolute latest from Voxeo. Uh, anyway, uh, thank you very much for joining us this morning, Dan. Sure, we're, uh, we're delighted to do that. And, and developers can go to uh, www.voxeo.com slash free and either get a free account or you can uh, sign up and, or you can download our premise version as well. We, we've got some you know, exciting stuff happening again and making it easy for voice developers over the next six months. So Good. we'll check in then. We've been uh, talking with Dan York from Voxeo, and uh, for more information on not only Voxeo, but uh, the, uh, the entire environment that uh, Voxeo works in, uh, also check out Voxeo's uh, IVR, communi IVR community on tmcnet.com. That's at ivr.tmcnet.com. Thanks, Dan. Thank you, Eric.